luxury manufacturers have had a lot of success converting their customers from buying cars to SUVs, and BMW was no exception with vehicles like this. This is the 2018 BMW X3. All new from the ground up and built in South Carolina, it's designed to build on the sporty, luxurious heritage of its predecessor, while still giving you all that SUV capability we've come to expect from this segment of cars. So let's dive in and take a look. How does it look? The new X3 is larger than before, but its bodywork has been redesigned to significantly lower its drag coefficient. It's smart and stylish from every angle, with signature BMW cues like the kidney grills up front, and a slight slope to the rear roofline that helps imbue it with a dash of sportiness. And come on, we always love a car sold in brown paint. How's the storage? The X3 now has a standard power lift gate, and inside you'll find a larger cargo area with 28.7 cubic feet of space. It's also really easy to fold down the back seats thanks to these handles here. And once you do, as you'll see in a second, there's a lot of space for putting your suitcases. While the center console isn't enormous, you can store your smartphone up front on this handy wireless charging pad. There are two cup holders in the center console, plus roomy door pockets for more beverage storage. Is it roomy? The 2018 X3 has a longer wheelbase than before, so there's more legroom in both rows of seats. Up front, I find it easy to get comfortable, although it might be easy to bump elbows with your passenger if you're both using the armrest. The X3's rear seat now reclines, and you'll find ample leg and headroom for regular sized adults like myself. How does the interior feel? BMW knows how to make an interior that looks and feels great, and this X3 is no exception. On this test car, I especially like the wood trim, the brushed metal accents, and of course the light-colored leather we've got on the seats. Is it well equipped? The X3 is absolutely loaded up with great features, including a heated steering wheel, heated front and rear seats, LED headlights, an enlarged panoramic sunroof, a head-up display, navigation, a 360-degree camera system, wireless phone charging, automatic parking, and more. This particular car also has the dynamic handling package that, as we'll talk about later, improves the fun-to-drive character. How's the infotainment system? The latest version of BMW's iDrive interface is easier than ever to use. You can use it as a touchscreen or use the physical knobs on the center console. You can even use that knob to write numbers or letters for the navigation system. As to smartphone connectivity, Apple CarPlay support is a $300 option, but there's no integration for Android Auto. Is it a good daily driver? The BMW X3 is lovely as a daily driver. I've got it in comfort mode and it's nice and easy to drive and comfy and quiet. All the things that you want and expect out of a luxury SUV. Now in city driving, the engine stop start system can be a little bit lumpy when it turns off and that can grow a little bit annoying. And the throttle response is really lazy to help you with those smooth starts. So personally, I like driving it more in the adaptive mode, but overall there's nothing here in the daily driving experience that would put off anyone who's looking for a premium SUV experience. Is it fun to drive? So in terms of fun to drive, this X3 is a little bit lighter than the old one because it uses a lot more aluminum, so it does feel a little lighter on its feet, and we've got a lot of power under the hood. There's a 2-liter turbo 4 that gives us 248 horsepower, so BMW says you'll get to 60 in 6 seconds flat. All those things put together, plus the fact that this car has the dynamic handling pack, make it pretty fun. That package gives me adaptive dampers when I go into sport mode, different brakes, 19-inch wheels, and variable ratio steering. And I have to say, this car is pretty fun to drive. Now, if you need more performance, there is an X3 M40i version as well, which is even more focused with more chassis upgrades and 355 horsepower. But I would say that this regular X3 is still a lot of fun. How's the fuel economy? 
With all-wheel drive now standard, fuel economy increases to 22 miles per gallon city and 29 mpg highway. That's an increase of 1 mpg in both categories compared to the last X3. How much is it? BMW X3 prices range from $43,000 all the way up past the $70,000 mark. This one is $57,000, which is probably a pretty reasonable amount that you might expect to pay for an X3. What are the negatives? Well, the BMW X3 has more competition than ever before. There are updated entries like the new Audi Q5 and Volvo XC60, plus new players like the Jaguar F-Pace and Alfa Romeo Stelvio. And all of that makes this SUV segment even tougher than before. Who should buy it? The X3 is for the buyer who wants a blend of luxury and sportiness in their SUV. Now, there are more competitors than ever, but I'd still love to take the X3 for anything from everyday urban commuting to a long road trip. If you were paying attention, you might have noticed I was wearing a new watch. This is the Strat 3, designed by famed Formula One technical illustrator Giorgio Piola. To find out more, visit GiorgioPiola.com.